from Cyprus, uh, Tom Sahara here. Thanks for watching. Today I'll be visiting a few locations within uh, Cyprus, uh, western side of Cyprus near Paphos. So stay with me, you might see some interesting things. Thanks for watching. Please do like and subscribe. We're now in Omodos and we're walking to the Timios Stavros Monastery where it's said that the fibers from Jesus Christ's cross is stored. So this uh, village has around 284 people and is a touristic town and the monastery has been here for a long time. So we're going to walk through the village. to the monastery. Nice village, Cypriot village. Look how the stone walls are all unique stone walls. Restaurants. Why am I whispering? I have no idea. There's no one here. Okay, let's see. Nice little alleyway road this way. We're going to carry on this way. Okay. <laughs> Right, okay, I think I turn left. Right turn takes you to that house at the end of this alley. Okay, left turn is someone else's house. So I think we go straight. Did I say the population is about 284 people in this village? Obviously when tourist season comes, a lot of tourists will come mainly for the monastery. the way we came back came through I mean okay someone's playing some music okay right let's have a look so you've got right turn going down this hill there can you see but I'm gonna go up the hill here okay so someone's blaring out Cypriot music Probably a restaurant or something. Right, okay. We're going up a hill. Oh, people clapping. Live music. Live music up there. Okay. Another alley. This is the route we just come through. Okay. Right, let's go up here. Ooh, gotta have faith, the faith, the faith. Don't know if you can hear the music, the live guitar. 
up above my head though, up there. Right. Okay. Up the hill we go. Up the hill. Apologies, I'm wheezing. I'm not wheezing. Out of breath a bit. I'm not used to walking uphill. Where I come from, it's all flat. Okay, let me turn around so you can have a look at uh, the route which has come up. Okay, there you go. It's beautiful. Okay, here we are. I think that you're left here. Oh. Lovely weather. It's like uh, what, 19 degrees, sunny. Right, it's downhill now. This is the easy part. Look at that houses. Look at the houses there, the walls made out of stone. And I think there's some rules and regulations set by the local authorities we're in the district of Limassol and um, the regulations are that a lot of these villages have to use original kind of materials to build their houses with to preserve the flavor of the old village style So as you can see the pavement, it's a line drawn on the road. It's not very busy as you can see. And like I said, it's only got like a population of 284 as per wiki. But obviously they uh, rely on tourism, people like me and others to come visit. And there's some shops in the set center that I'll show you. And I think they, rely on the business brought in by tourists. For me, I came here because I wanted to see the monastery. Um, because I heard it had a historical element to it with the historical traditions that are recounted by locals of the rope and the cross used in the crucifixion. Now Cyprus isn't very far from Israel, from Palestine. It's about 300 kilometers to Israel. So I think the story has it that one of the queens or princesses that were given parts of the cross. No, I think the cross was given to her, she brought it over and she cut the rope up a bit and sent it to different parts of uh, of Cyprus. 
to store and one of the one of the segments of the wood and the rope ended up here in the monastery now the monastery isn't active anymore but it's a nice church in there so it's great for architecture oh and the uh, upper head the cemetery okay so we're nearly here guys we're nearly here stay with me and by the way do like and subscribe my videos and in the comments below please do let me know where i should go for country number 50 country number 55 and 60 on my travels if it's reasonable i'll try and go there and do a vlog for you guys uh now we're in the town center the town hall not town hall yeah town square and let's see what it's got it's got all these shops and cafes and it's got this thing called the cypress wine routes so we're we're basically on a wine route so um don't know if you can see this can you see i don't know but that map there shows you the wine route different areas uh, in this region they produce wine from locally grown grapes so I shall have a coffee here shortly my god sausages what the hell massive Oh, not sausages, yeah, sausages. Cafes, sausages. They've got it all. A gift shop on the left. So that in front of us is the monastery. So I'll go into the monastery, but I'm not going to take a video of the inside. I just don't want to disrespect anyone or anything. Anyone. Um, but you can have a look on Google. If you Google search it, you'll be able to see the cross pieces and the fibers. So this is the monastery. This is the outside part of the monastery. And it says, Dosithios, abbot of the monastery of the Holy Cross, Omodos, slaughtered on 10th of July 1821 by the Turks, Greek War of Independence. So, this is in memory of Dosithios, who was the abbot of the monastery, who tragically passed away, as per the notes here. And, uh, Here's the entrance for the monastery and to the right is a road going into the village which we won't go down but this is a monastery Monks used to live here, pray here, worship here To think that monks at some point used to accommodate this building and uh, used to use this as a place of worship. The self-sacrifice, regardless of whatever religion you believe in, people who devote themselves as opposed to finding inner peace. I think all humans at some point long for inner peace, whether it's through religion or through some other form of belief or no belief. 
people always look for peace and happiness. So these monks, uh, they worshipped in here, this, this compound. So through those doors is the church. And I'm not going to go any further into the church other than just to show you maybe Mm. Nice. Okay, what's on this side? Rest of the monastery. interior of the church in there that's where you'll find the cross fibers so uh, if you watch this far please uh, like and subscribe and do visit the area for yourself it's full of historical info well interest really it's one of the things that uh, if you're able to do, uh, you should do it. And um, oh, another road. So yeah, we just exited the monastery, and we're gonna now end this brief tour. Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe to my videos, and um, hope to see you next time on my next video. Take care. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.